Did you know that caviar production involves advanced ultrasound technology to check if sturgeon are ready to produce roe? Or that some of the world's most expensive caviar comes from albino sturgeon, which can sell for up to $800 per ounce? From raising sturgeon in carefully controlled environments to the meticulous processes that turn their roe into luxurious caviar, this is how the world's most expensive caviar is made in a factory. The journey to making caviar starts with the sturgeon, one of the oldest fish species still swimming today. These ancient fish are known for their long lives and slow growth. Sturgeon can live for up to 50 years or more, but they don't become mature enough to produce eggs until they're 15 to 20 years old. This long maturation process is one of the reasons caviar is so rare and expensive. It takes many years before sturgeon is ready to produce roe. On a caviar farm, sturgeon are raised in tanks with cold, clean water, mimicking their natural environment. The quality of the water is extremely important, not only for the health of the fish, but also for the quality of the eggs that they produce. To keep the water as pure as possible, farms often use water from natural springs or deep wells. This water is continuously filtered and refreshed, ensuring it stays clean and provides the ideal conditions for the sturgeon to grow. In the wild, sturgeon are opportunistic feeders, which means they eat a variety of things like small fish, crustaceans, plants, and insects. On a farm, though, their diet is carefully controlled. They're fed specially made fish pellets that are designed to give them the same nutrients that they would find in the wild. This ensures the sturgeon grow to the right size for producing roe, with fish-based food and extra supplements helping them along the way. It takes years for the sturgeon to reach maturity, and once they do, they're ready to start producing roe for caviar. At this point, farmers have to keep a close eye on their health. If a sturgeon gets too stressed or isn't healthy, it can reabsorb its eggs, meaning no roe for harvesting. That's why it's so important for the farm to maintain a calm and controlled environment, reducing stress and making sure the eggs are ready when it's time to collect them. When the sturgeon are big enough and healthy, the next step is figuring out if they're ready to produce roe. Gone are the days when farmers had to kill the fish just to check for eggs. These days, ultrasound technology is commonly used on caviar farms, and it's improved everything just like how ultrasound works in human pregnancies. It lets workers see inside the fish and check if the ovaries are full of mature eggs. With ultrasound, farmers can check the sturgeon without harming them. If the eggs are ready to be harvested, the fish is moved to a different tank for more careful monitoring. This method is key for sustainability because it allows farms to harvest roe from sturgeon multiple times during their lives. Only the fish will mature eggs are harvested, and the rest are left to keep developing until they're ready to produce eggs later on. The ultrasound process has really transformed caviar farming. It means there's no need to kill the fish, which makes the whole operation more sustainable and ethical. By using this technology, farms can plan their harvests more carefully and make sure the fish are treated with care. Once the sturgeon are ready to produce eggs, the next step is to harvest the roe. This is a very careful job and requires skilled workers. The fish is gently taken out of the tank and a small cut is made in its belly. The roe is then carefully removed and placed into clean containers to keep it safe and free from contamination. Harvesting roe takes a lot of precision. The eggs need to be handled gently because even a tiny mistake can affect the quality of the caviar. To make the cut as clean as possible, many farms use special tools like fish knives. After the eggs are collected, the sturgeon's belly is stitched up so it can heal. The best part is that sturgeon can keep producing eggs for several years, thanks to a method called no-kill harvesting. After each collection, the fish is put back into the farm where it can continue growing and making eggs. No-kill harvesting is a big improvement for caviar farms. It lets each sturgeon produce eggs for a longer time, so fewer fish are needed. It also helps keep the sturgeon population healthy, which is better for the environment. Once the roe is harvested, it's taken to the processing facility for cleaning. The roe needs to be cleaned well to remove any bits of blood or tissue from the harvest. First, it's rinsed gently with cold, purified water to wash off any debris stuck to the eggs. Next, the roe goes through a fine mesh sieve to get rid of any leftover membranes or unwanted pieces. This is done slowly and carefully to make sure the eggs don't break. Special machines help remove all the unwanted materials quickly and efficiently. Cleaning the roe properly is important to keep it pure and make sure the caviar tastes as fresh. Once the roe is cleaned, it moves to the sorting stage. This is an important step because it ensures that only the best eggs are used for caviar. The eggs are sorted by size, color, and texture. Although some farms use machines to help, most of the sorting is done by hand, with workers carefully checking each egg. The sorting process is done carefully to make sure only the best eggs are kept. Any eggs that are too small, the wrong color, or damaged are removed. This helps make sure that the caviar is high quality. The worker's experience is important to ensure everything is done right. After the roe is sorted, it's time to add salt. 
Salting is a very important step in turning the roe into caviar. Not only does salt bring out the flavor, but it also helps preserve the eggs, making the caviar last longer. The amount of salt used is key. It has to be just right to bring out the flavor without making it too salty and overpowering the delicate taste. The salt is mixed gently into the roe by hand, making sure every egg gets coated evenly. This has to be done carefully because too much pressure can break the eggs. Once salted, the roe is left to sit for a few hours in a cool, controlled place. During this time, the eggs absorb the salt, which helps firm them up and bring out their flavor. This curing process is what helps create the perfect balance of salt and flavor that makes high-quality caviar so special. For some types of caviar, aging is a key step. It helps the roe develop a richer, more complex flavor that many caviar lovers really appreciate. After the caviar is salted, it's placed in a special environment where temperature and humidity are carefully controlled. This lets the flavors deepen and mature, giving the caviar a more refined and sophisticated taste. The aging time depends on the type of caviar being made. Some caviar is aged for just a few weeks, while others might sit for months to develop their full flavor. Aging is mostly used for high-end caviars because it adds depth and richness to the taste. But not all caviar is aged, since some people prefer the fresh, salty flavor of roe that hasn't been aged. Before the caviar is packaged, it goes through a final round of testing. The quality control team checks its texture, flavor, and salt levels to make sure it meets the farm's high standards. If the caviar doesn't pass these tests, it's discarded and doesn't make it to the market. Quality control is a very important part of making caviar. Many farms use special equipment to check the salt levels and make sure that the caviar's texture is just right. Sometimes, they even do blind taste tests to make sure that the flavor is perfect. Only the caviar that passes these checks is packaged and then sent out for sale. The last step in making caviar is packaging. This step is really important because it helps keep the caviar fresh and ensures it gets to you in perfect condition. Caviar is usually packaged in airtight tins or glass jars to protect it from oxygen and light, both of which can spoil the caviar over time. Once the caviar is carefully placed in the containers, they're sealed tightly to lock in the freshness. Some producers even use vacuum sealing machines to remove any air, which helps the caviar last longer. Each package also gets a label with key details, like the production date and expiration date, so you know you're getting the freshest caviar possible. Caviar is a perishable product, and as such, it must be transported in temperature-controlled conditions to ensure it remains fresh. After being packaged, the caviar is shipped to distributors, gourmet food retailers, and high-end restaurants around the world. Specialized logistics companies are used to ensure that the caviar stays at the correct temperature during its journey. Once the caviar reaches its destination, it is stored in refrigerated conditions until it is ready for sale. High-end restaurants serve caviar as a luxury appetizer or garnish, while retailers offer it for home consumption. For many consumers, caviar is a rare and luxurious treat, and the production process behind it is just as intricate and valuable as the product itself. And that's how the world's most expensive caviar is made, from the careful breeding of sturgeon to the precise packaging that preserves its luxurious quality. What's your favorite caviar variety? Let us know in the comments below! If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit subscribe so you won't miss out on more behind the scenes looks at how the finest luxury foods are made.